right, so let's do a little drop D Southern fried greasy music. I love it. This like full country western cowboy grit songs. We're gonna tune down half step and drop D just to make it low and nasty. So anyway, speaking of low and nasty, click the links below and there's some awesomely good stuff down there, always. So if you have it, click the link, get on the brink of clicking because if you just stay on the brink and you never click the link, you'll never know what you're missing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, being under these lights makes you crazy. So uh, let's zoom in for a closer look and learn some of this kind of like Midwestern, Southern truck mudden awesomeness. There we go. All right, so right off the bat, just a D chord. Now what we're gonna do, since we're in drop D, is we can't do a typical G chord or an F chord. What you have to do is use either one finger Right? And just bar the first three strings with your first finger, and that'll give you just a straight like five chord. Or what you can do is go like this. So you have a basic, this would be like an F major chord shape, right? I got my first finger on the first two strings of the first fret, then we got second fret G, and now my ring and my pinky are gonna be on the third fret, right? Instead of being just like this, it's like this now because of the tuning of the string. So what I'm gonna wanna be careful of is that D string. Now right now it doesn't matter that much because we're in D, but you don't necessarily wanna hit that, you know, that string on all these kind of chords. So get in the habit of muting out that D string and it gives you that and you just move it up and you got a G. Now you can also do the minor chords and you just, right, it's the same thing, right? We're just moving this finger is really the only difference in the chord. So from that, I was doing a lot of stuff like implying an F chord and a C chord with just single notes, pulling down stuff like that. So at the beginning, I was doing a hybrid picking and I was just going. So what I did is I took the D chord, picked it, picked the D note, and then I pull off the D chord to the open G. So I pull off from the second fret of the G to open. And then I pick the D string again, and then I go back to my D chord. So we got. And then I hammer on. And then I do my little riff. So we got. And that riff was. Let's see. <laughs> I gotta do it slower. So, so I hammer on from two to three. And then I go to the D string third fret. Back to the D string third fret. And then I'm plucking that G open. That's all G string. Now the next one I went, so I hammered on the D string this time, two to three, and then I plucked it with my finger, the G string, and then I go back to the third fret, so we got, and then I go down to G, pull off, and then back to the D third fret. Or you can just pull off, fret right there. Yeah, that's easier. Pull off to the D. So then what I did was I just went up to... these pull off 
riffs on the third fret from D, C to G, but you know, it's dropped lower obviously because of the tuning, but where the G would normally be all sound great. Any sort of combos that you can do right there, whether it's, right, that would just be pulling off from three to open on the D. And then I'm gonna hammer on open A to the third fret and just do that twice. And then I pick the D, open. Now also, pulling down the string a little bit gives you a little bit that southern twang, right? Another one of the riffs I did was when I just pulled off third fret A, and then I pull off fifth fret E, third fret, and then I grab the third fret of the D. And then you can bend that down a little bit. Or You can do all sorts of stuff, and I'm just kind of keeping this hand going. And normally, where I would associate a chord coming in, I'll just do a little riff. And then I let that be like my main chord shift in the in the song. So in the end, I went. Same riff I did in the beginning, and then I did it on the D and A string. So this is the G and D. And that's just... So what I did there is I hammered onto the third fret, A, went back to the A and D. So I go down to the D. <laughs> this is hard to explain. Right, so I make it kind of almost like an exercise. It's totally fun. I've been sitting here for like an hour just jamming around. And just messing around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what you want to do is do it slow. So you can start kind of getting into a groove. You know, you can also do those bends instead of going, it can be like, right, those pull downs. Really cool sounding. So the licks don't have to be fast. 
It's just stuff to you know mess around with. So again, we're in D. I tuned down a half step and drop D, but you don't have to do that. Once you watch the video and just see what I'm doing, you can be in standard tuning and just drop the D string down. I just like the real throaty sound. Plus a lot of the new country guys are tuning down because it sounds nasty, right? Sounds good with them big truck speakers. Yeah, so don't don't be afraid to mess around sliding up the chords. Because it's just one finger. So get big and nasty and go get yourself some dip, spit a little bit, watch your shoe, and then just get crazy with them southern riffs. Before any of you southern guys get mad, I am from Oklahoma, so I, I have, I, I can do it. I'm legit. I'm not just making fun. I'm, I'm having fun with because I know where you come from. All right. Catch you next time. All right. So awesome stuff. Having fun. Doing some good for the guitar out there in the world. You are doing the good, not me. I'm referring to you out there. So. Anyways, click that link below. Marty will be stoked, and so will you. All right. Thanks for joining us. Catch you next time.